Welcome back to the Bar Schoolers. It's been two days now since Ireland were humbled at home by the Danes on a night that will live long in the memory, unfortunately. None of their wildest dreams of the Vikings think they would come to Dublin and romp home 5 1. And some Danish fans are enjoying going back and looking at our reaction video to the draw. And they see how happy we were, and that's fair, it was a hammering in the end. So enjoy that video. I could sit here and lament individual mistakes all day. and chastised the manager for his two panic substitutions at half time but greater minds on my own have extensively covered the subject in the last two days and there's nothing new I can add. What I will say is that we've come a long way under Martin O'Neill in the last four years and we've had some great memories and great nights against Germany in Dublin, Italy in Lille and Wales in Cardiff. We'll do what we've always done and we'll dust ourselves down and pick ourselves up and although it hurts now we just have to move on and go forward for the European qualifiers in 2020. It would also be a crime for a player of Christian Eriksen's calibre to not go to a World Cup. He's world class and there's no other way to describe it. Some have derided Kasper Schmeichel's praise of the Ireland fans at the end as condescending and patronising but the keeper didn't have to say what he said and it showed that he's a classy individual on and off the pitch and he deserves to play at the highest level. As well as Eriksen, Delaney, Sisto and Poulsen gave us a masterclass on how to kill off a game and it sent the travelling fans into raptures. Those fans were also fantastic. Before the game I had a point with three of them and they were in great spirits. I also joined their fan march as they marched away through the streets of Dublin up to the Aviva Stadium and the noise and atmosphere they brought was fantastic. I hope the welcome that we gave them in Dublin was even half the welcome they gave us in Copenhagen. And I wish them all the best in Russia. Drink all the vodka and have one on us. Don't do anything we wouldn't do which as it turns out, isn't that much. The worst part of the loss for me is the excitement which filled the city streets before the game is gone. You could see it in people's faces as you walked around town. The buzz was back. Ever since 1988 and cemented by Italian 90, the fortunes of the Irish football team are intrinsically linked with the national mood. We won't have a summer of parties and I do worry it may be a long time before Ireland qualify for another World Cup. But we'll stick by the team and we'll go again for the European qualifiers because that's all we know. We played in more playoffs than any other European nation and we know the heartbreak and the joy of getting through them and congratulations to Denmark are in order. So excuse my Danish for a minute as I say, Held Golit Denmark, Gerdut Til Irish. 